Hey everyone, it's Abby, and I'm here with some empties. I know, ooh, <laughs> I know that I just filmed one a um, few weeks ago, but I think with me doing a no, I would say no buy, but it's actually a low buy. So I'm not buying as much makeup. I'm trying to work through a lot of products. Uh, it. I don't know, it's so weird, maybe I'm just more focused, but the last time I did a no buy, it was like the same thing, like I went through so many products, so I just wanted to go ahead and talk about them and give you my thoughts and all that stuff. So if you have not seen an empties video, you're like new to it or whatever, basically I'm going to tell you the products that I have used up and let you know my thoughts on them. And there are some products that I'm decluttering, so they're going to be in here too, so it's kind of a cheat, but whatever. And, um, yeah, Morty's just walking around the room. He's my dog. He might be sitting back there. You might hear him, but whatever. So if you watched my last video, you already know this, but I will just tell you guys just in case you haven't seen it. Um, I basically decided to do like a rating scale on the products. I just call it like a meh scale because I noticed in all my empty videos I was just saying like, oh, it's like meh, whatever, like it's fine. And But that's not really giving you guys an idea of how I feel about the products. So basically zero means like I didn't like it, would not repurchase it, don't recommend it, it's awful. Five is kind of middle ground, like I could go either way if the product was on sale, yeah, I'd probably get it, but I'm not going to like go out of my way to get it. And then 10 is like, I love it, I've already repurchased it, or I want to repurchase it, that kind of thing. So, keeping that in mind, let's just jump into some empty products. I'm just gonna pull things from random. This is just an old Sephora bag. Uh, first up is right here. This is Up and Up, you can see Morty in the back. This is Up and Up Soothing Shade Gel Plus Soy. This is a knockoff to the Aveeno brand. And I have repurchased this before, but from a different store, Meyer. I don't know if you guys have heard of that, but it's just a, like a Target, Walmart, department store type thing. And I like that one, which is why I bought the Target version, and I like this a lot. And I have repurchased it, so it is a 10. I'm um, using it currently. Next up is this Yes to Scalp Relief. Um, yes to Carrots. This is a conditioner, and... Um, I like it. It was on clearance at Target for $2.39, so I grabbed two, and I'm currently using the other one right now. And it's just a nice conditioner. I don't know, like, that I noticed, um, a, like, it, I do have a dry scalp, but I don't notice that it did anything to help or hurt that. Um, it did feel, because it has tea tree in it, it did feel kind of nice on my scalp. So, because this is on clearance, I don't know if he would purchase it. So, I'm going to give it a 6 because I like it enough to purchase. And I would go out of my way to. I just don't know if I can anymore. Um, but, yeah. That's good stuff. And I just really like the Yes 2 brand overall. Next up is, um, this is Neutr Neutrogena <laughs> Pore Scrub. Um, this is a facial scrub. I really wanted to try um, this Neutrogena Naturals brands. I like that they have, um, hello. <laughs> I like that they have recognized that there are a lot of crap in products and that maybe they should make some products that don't have so much crap in it. Um, but I like it. So I give this an 8 because it is readily available everywhere. You can get it for 7 to $8. I mean, it's everywhere. Grocery stores, Target, Walmart, Meijer, um, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. Like, you can literally get this anywhere. And because of that, I think it's good enough to repurchase. Um, but it's not like a go-to. Like, it's not going to change anything for you. It's just very basic. But it does the job and makes my skin smooth and doesn't break out my skin and that type of thing. Right here is... Um, Evelyn Ayana. This is a concealer that came in my Ipsy. If you watch my weekly makeup baskets that I do, basically I pick out my makeup with you guys every week. Um, I said last week that I was going, I was thinking about canceling my Ipsy, and I just wanted to give you an update that I did go ahead and cancel it. Um, it's, 
ironic, I had it from August to August, so I had it for a full year. It wasn't intentional that I cut it off right at the exact one year mark, but um, anyways, I enjoyed it while it lasted, and it was a lot of fun, but it's to the point now that I feel like I'm just accumulating a lot of junk like junky products and this is an example of one and I feel like sometimes I was getting things that made it worth the bag like maybe one of the five beauty items was worth it. If you don't know what Ipsy is it's a beauty subscription service $10 a month for five sample items and so usually one of the items was enough to make up the $10 in my mind but I don't know if maybe the quality went down on Ipsy or maybe I just wasn't as into it and optimistic about it. I don't really know. But I just started feeling I was getting junk and it wasn't worth the $10. And so long story short, because there's going to be other Ipsy products in here, so I just kind of wanted to go over that real quick. This was crap. And I'm going to open it for you. I did not use it all, as you can see. Basically, when I first got it, it was... um completely hard and so I like you know thought maybe if I just use my finger to put it on my skin like that would warm it up and it would work and it didn't do it and then it sat in my makeup drawer for I don't know like a few months got creamy which is like weird because I'm like how did it just all of a sudden get creamy and so I was using it and it's okay at that point like it wasn't breaking me out it was just okay and so then I thought I would stir it up and see if that would help and it did make it more creamy but still the application of it was just okay so I'm like you know what I'm not doing this I have products that I like this if you break it down because there's five items in a bag it's like two dollars I'm not going to do that to myself so it's a zero um I don't know if I got a bad one but I just I can't do it. So I'm going to get rid of it. It's zero. I don't recommend it. Uh, yeah. Just done with that. Next up is this Josie Marin 100% Argan Oil. This came in the Sephora favorites that I got last fall for my birthday. And I've been work trying to work through all those products because I'm hoping they come out with a new box um, sometime soon. And I want to kind of not have so many leftover products from the last box. But anyways, I really enjoyed this. So this is just an oil. Um, it's all organic, and you can use it in a multitude of ways. You can do it on your face by, like, by itself. You can mix it in the moisturizer. You can put it in the ends of your hair. You can rub it on your skin. You can really do whatever you want with it. I really did enjoy it. I think it's a great product. I just personally don't use oils enough to um, go out and purchase it. So because of that, it gets a 7. Like, I think it's worth repurchasing. Just in my beauty regimen, at least as of what, like, currently, right now, right this minute, it's just not something I'm into. But yeah, it's, um, next up is just a sample, but I got a lot of use out of it. It's right here, Daisy by Marc Jacobs. It's a perfume, and I know there's a lot of hype over this perfume on YouTube, and I think it's totally worth the hype. It's a really good perfume. Morty. I think this is a good perfume, the price point. I'm like, oh, I can't do it. So it gets an eight. I mean, if I had an extra hundred dollars laying around, like, yeah, I would buy it, but let's be honest, I don't. So, um, next, ugh, ugh, hair in my mouth. Ugh. Time out. My face. I'm going to link the weekly makeup basket below that has the products that I use. It is the um, weekly makeup basket plus Ipsy Rant. And um, basically everything except for my lips. I have um, a Bite Beauty um, lip gloss on and Star Looks. I'll, um, I'll tell you guys the name, exact name of the lip products, but... Basically, everything else is on the faces in that basket. And so the eyes are NYX um, Art Throb, the orange color, and then I have the prismatic color by NYX called Fireball, and then this glow right here, that's an eyeshadow. It's the Bella Sands by Milani. And hey, hey girl, I'm checking myself out when I look away. Yes, I am. Oh, hey. Anyways, okay, okay. So, um, Thayer's Original Witch Hazel uh, with aloe vera. This 
is nice. I don't necessarily notice witch hazel doing anything for my face, um, but I do enjoy like the purpose of it. In the morning, I don't wash my face. I wash. I do wash my face at night, but in the morning. I just use this to kind of refresh and get the oils off my face from sleeping <laughs> and then I just go ahead with moisturizer. So the purpose of it is great. I would repurchase this one. It's a little more pricier. It's $10 um, but I went ahead and repurchased the one I currently have which is a repurchase. <laughs> How many times can I say purchase? And it was on sale for like $2. So $2 versus $10, you know, um, it's a 9. I would rebuy it. It just, you know, it kind of one of those things. It depends on if it's on sale and if I'm at a store that sells it. Um, okay, another Ipsy product. This is Pure Brazilian Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. And I did like this. The pump on it is worthless. The product, you can see a little bit right here. The product is too thick for the pump, so I mean, if you're watching this pure Brazilian, like just get rid of the pump. Um, I honestly haven't met a leave-in conditioner that I haven't really liked, so um, it's a five. Like I'm not gonna search out where you find pure Brazilian. Mommy, what are you doing? Look, he's ready to yell at someone, and no one's home, so I don't know why he's staring at the door. But anyways. Um, I don't know where you find Pure Brazilian. I'm not going to go out of my way to find it, but it was a good product. This is an example of something I'm decluttering. It's not your mother's uh, Dej, Dej Vadu <laughs> style extender. This is something that you use, um, you put in your hair and then you blow dry it. And it's supposed to lock in your style until your next shampoo. Um, the product itself is fine. It's nothing against the product. It's just my hair. Like, can we look at this? My hair is down my back. <laughs> and this, like, wave that I have, I mean, it's a little messy. But that wave, it's natural. And so I just put a little sea salt spray on it to help, I don't know, just give it a little something-something. But everything about this right now is natural. I have not done any sort of heat anything to make it look like this and with my hair being halfway down my back I'm not about to sit with a blow dryer because I mean it takes forever I'm not doing it so it's more of a purpose of me and what works good for me and not so much about the product so I'm gonna find a friend who um, does blow dry their hair and give it to them alright Sephora this is a clean machine one of those um the little clay sponge things um, there was a black one and an orange one, and I absolutely love these things. My color changed a little bit, but, um, I really like this. This is a 10. I will repurchase it. It's about $12, and I think they're great. They're just a nice way to clean everything off your face and give, like, just a gentle scrub to your face. And my, I just feel like so soft and I just really like it. And they have strings on them so you can hang them in the shower to dry and they won't get all moldy and gross and that kind of thing. And so you keep them one to three months and I would say they last right at three months. Like you, you can't really go three months in a day like you can tell. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like that. Next is a sea salt spray by Tony and Guys. Uh, this came in a Target box a while ago, but this one's, this is pretty good. Um, it smells good. It doesn't leave your hair too, like, sticky or anything. Um, sea salt sprays are so different from each other. It's really bizarre, but I think this one is a six. I wouldn't necessarily go out of my way to buy it, but maybe if it was on sale or something like that. It, it's okay. Okay, here's one. Here we go. Here we go. This is the Bumble and Bumble. Hello, come on. Surf spray. I can't even. I, I'm blurry. I can't even. I can't. Zero. Look. This camera doesn't even want to focus on the Bumble and Bumble. It knows how bad it is. There's still, there's still some in here. Like, I probably have, I don't know, five to ten years. Maybe not five. Maybe three to five uses left. But, oh, 
guys. Guys, it's awful. Did I say yet? Yeah, it's a zero. It's a zero. This came in that Sephora favorites box that I mentioned earlier um, with the Josie Marin oil. <sighs> okay. The pump is awful, but that's not the point. This it says for beachy, windswept styles. It makes my hair feel so sticky. And it like, it does this weird thing where not only is my hair sticky, but it's super like fried, if that makes sense. You know if you like fry your hair from like a curling iron or hair dye, it has this weird texture to it that it just looks unhealthy. That's what this does. Anyways, to have naturally soft and not frizzy hair and to put something on it that makes it incredibly sticky and stiff and looking fried and unhealthy, no. And I know some people like this, so it could just be me, but maybe if you have really textured hair, it might be pretty good, or if you have curls or something. I don't know, but for me, never again. Next up is a Sweepers Cotton Round right here. This is from Costco, and you get about nine of them, and there's a hundred. You get nine, like, full containers, and there's a hundred in a container, and it was like six dollars. <laughs> so there's going to be a lot of these, but I really like them. Um, if you can see on the back, it has the stitching on the side, and they're slightly textured, so these are great. I really, well, you can kind of see the one the girl's sitting on it, how it's like different textures on each side. I really like them, and if you're a Costco member, go get you some, because A, they're going to last a while, and $6, that's like the price of two of them from Target. Here is another style extender. This is a Bumble and Bumble BB All Style Blow Dry Cream. This came in an Ipsy. Same as this one. I just don't blow dry my hair, so I'm going to find a home for those, but I just wanted to show you guys my little decluttering. Next is Neutrogena right here, Hydro Boost. This is a gel cream. This is an example. There's a few more Ipsy things, but this came in Ipsy. This little thing. I'm paying $10 a month, and you're going to give me this? This? This, I mean, I know it's a brand new product, so they're probably like, oh, go try it and buy it and all that good stuff, but, and it, it was okay, I mean, it was fine, it's not enough to know anything about it, but really, Ipsy, really? Alright, oops, something fell. Uh, this is another Ipsy item, this is 3-in-1 Revolution Light, this is a, um, moisturizer, and this was pretty good, it was, it has like a serum and moisturizer in one, and it's for normal to oily skin. I really liked how um, lightweight it is. It's really good for summer because um, it's so hot out that you just don't want a lot sitting on your face, especially not moisturizer. So I give this a six. If I saw it in the store, I would pick it up. But some of the, like that's the thing with Ipsy. Like, where do they come up with this stuff? I don't even. Understand, like, I'm not trying to be negative to them. I just really don't understand. I mean, I think I can go to their website and buy it, but whatever. Okay, here's the last Ipsy product that I'm going to complain about, and then I do have some makeup products. All right, this is um, Bella Pierre Cosmetics. This is a um, lipstick, and it's called Pink Lipstick right here. I was just um, kind of reorganizing my makeup and <laughs> I, I don't know, I just looked at this because I couldn't remember the color. And what is on it? What is that? Is that mold or is that the formula peeling off? Do you see that white stuff and it's like glittery? I don't... No, that's going in the trash. I hate, I don't have words for it. That's just, that's just gross. Okay, next up is, this is Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This was a sample, and this is really good. Um, it's expensive. Full size is $23, and it has a nice bristle 
brush right here and it's kind of like a hourglass shape. I did really, really enjoy it. I actually, oh no, it's on me. Did I? Ugh. Did I have that on me the whole video? But anyways, I'm wearing it right now. Um, I used it the last time today. And yeah, I think it looks really nice. But yeah. What was on my face? I hope that wasn't there the whole video. I'm going to be pissed. Okay, but ten. No, not ten. Seven. I would think about spending that much money on it. Like maybe for my birthday or Christmas or if I had like a Sephora card or an Ulta card. Um, but, I mean, I tend to just go to the drugstore and buy one for like eight dollars. So, I like it enough. I just don't know if I'm going to spend it. This product is NARS Larger Than Life. It is an eyeliner pen. I got this in a giveaway, which I won one um, Instagram giveaway from my friend Margie Knows Makeup. I feel so honored. But anyways, um, it was just an eyeliner, but, oh, it fell, okay, A, whoop, it fell out. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't too much product, obviously, it's a little pen. And B, it's like incredibly hard that I can never get it to work on my skin. So, I don't know if it went bad um, or if that's just the quality of the product. So, it's a zero on my scale because I don't know which it is. Uh, <laughs> that is my really like rambled whatever video. You got this. You know they're all long because I got to explain how I feel about everything. But anyways... Thanks for watching. Please uh, like, comment, and if you want to see more videos from me, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye!